It's Video Tuesday. Welcome back to Great Photography and Video on a Budget. I'm George E. Harrison. And what I have for you today is different scenes, some shot in black and white, some shot in color. And the idea is, you know, color adds one dimension to a photograph, and sometimes that whole dimension can change when it's in black and white. But I'm going to add my commentary, tell you what I was thinking when I saw it in color, and also tell you what I was thinking when I saw it in black and white. But you have to remember, my imagination and my thinking process could be totally different from yours. So you might see something totally different or feel something totally different. So that's why I'm asking you at the end of it, leave a comment. Tell me what did you see, what did you feel, and wh whether or not you prefer black and white or color. So with that, I'll see you on the other side. This is a picture of a lovely lady with a beautiful smile as she is backlit by the glow of the sun. But isn't her smile and a face still just as beautiful in black and white, or maybe even more so. Do not let this color picture fool you. This is a very small creek n near my home. Only after recent rain do you get any water, and it still is very misleading. But in black and white, it's still the same creek. It's still very misleading. It's still very small. But yet, it has a different meaning when you see it in black and white. It has been said, there is no reflection prettier than a new bride to be looking at herself in a mirror. But even in black and white, the reflection is still there, the anticipation. What do you think? The glow of the Ferris wheel reminds all of us we're still children at heart. But in black and white, it allows us to use our imagination and we're transformed back to when we was kids, giggling and happy. The proud face of a brother as he congratulates his recently graduated UNCG sister. Even in black and white, you can see he's still just as proud of his recently graduated UNCG sister. In color, it's just a little bug on a leaf. But in black and white, with a little imagination, it's a giant monster coming to get you. In color, it's a wintry scene of a frozen raindrop. But in black and white, you feel the chill as the raindrop holds on, frozen in time. This is the beautiful face of an Elon University student. And even in black and white, the smile is still just as pretty, the face is just as beautiful. We travel down the road a little ways to show you the smiling, happy face of a UNC student. And in black and white, the face is just as pretty, the smile is just as bright, the eyes still have the twinkle. We're back at Elon University, where the close friends you make in school will be your close friends forever. And even in black and white, you, their smiles are just as bright, they still have a sparkle in their eyes, and their faces are just as beautiful, and their friendship is just as close. Well, what did you think? And you know the routine by now. If you're watching this on YouTube, go down to the right-hand corner, hit the, the subscribe icon, and also hit the notification button so you can get all my videos on Tuesday and Friday. If you're watching this on Facebook, uh, leave, a, leave a comment in, in the comment section whether or not you like it, you don't like it, or suggestions how I can make it better uh, or improve. And as always, if you look, I, I said this before, I will continue to say it. If you're looking for someone you want, need to collaborate with, you want to go out late night, early morning, or whenever, someone to watch your back while you shoot, or you can watch my back while I shoot, you know, let's get together, exchange ideas and photographic thoughts. And as always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey, and I will see you Friday.